Uh, so let's talk about what's happening in the world of politics. We thought it would now is an appropriate time to check in with everything that's going on right now. Of course, we do have uh, Jeff and Craig joining us, a Republican and a Democrat. How are you doing, gentlemen? Terrific. Doing great. Well, that, that, well, <laughs> you guys sound so excited. Thanks for the enthusiasm. Uh, I don't even well, know where it is. It's like it's like we're scheduled to watch a train wreck tonight. So, I mean, how excited can you get? Okay, so well, it can't be any let, worse. Let's go right into it. We think it's going to be another train wreck. Well, Jeff must have really low expectations for Kamala Harris. Um, I think de tonight's debate is going to be completely different than when, the, than the one we saw last week. You know, I think I think Mike Pence is a serious politician, a serious debater, and I think he'll want to get into it on the issues uh, with Kamala Harris. What we saw last week, I think, is unique to Donald Trump. Um, and, and face it, uh, Joe Biden's that way too a little bit. And um, I think tonight will be a much more um, standard debate that we're used to, that the American public is used to. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Well, hopefully, we won't have as much hectoring from. You know, there, there's no way you can match the hectoring that Trump delivered uh, last week. It was it was literally hard to watch. And, and I do hope that Pence, um, you know, kind of abides by standards and norms and, and even some of the rules so th so they can dig into the issues. We have some really important issues that need to be addressed right now in our country. Uh, and, and COVID is high on that list. Uh, the fact that the White House is kind of an epicenter hotspot of COVID uh, infections right now, um, the economy, the stimulus uh, deal that, that the administration shot down yesterday, uh, th there are some massive issues that need to be addressed tonight. Uh, let's uh, just move on really quickly because I know there's a lot we could talk about just with the debate that's happening uh, tonight that you can watch on our sister station at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, is the importance of voting uh, because you are able to vote early if you so desire right now. Of course, we're talking a lot about absentee ballots if people don't feel safe to go inside uh, to vote. I believe I heard a number this morning that 5 million across the country have decided to use that civil right already and vote early. I know I'm getting plenty of mailers. Uh, Craig, are you responsible for any of these coming into my I, household? I don't think any of those. But <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, these are all uh, probably not who you would be. Uh, Jackie got a handwritten one. I was going to say, they're, they're very yeah. extensive. You can tell they're very expensive probably to go out. First time ever I've gotten a hand written one like a lot of times they look like they might be personalized but you, you can tell they're just you know uh, copies this one was personally handwritten to me which i consider very impressive but more importantly uh polk county just put something out that gives me everything i need uh to vote and they give you a quick scan so you know everything you should do but what do you say gentlemen anything we need to know so that people more importantly just get out and vote well, well number I, I, one we've made we've made voting early much easier this time. I mean, people are inundated with absentee ballot requests. Um, and, and, and so that part is easier. What's more difficult though is, is are we gonna have the same number of precincts? Can you go to your regular precinct in a general election? Or are we gonna have fewer precincts uh, on election day? So if you do plan to vote in person, I think you're gonna wanna make sure that you know exactly where you need to go uh, before you decide to vote. It might not be the same place uh, that you always go. Well, and I, I think Craig made a good point here. I, I think everyone should make a plan. And if you're gonna if you're gonna plan to vote on election day, figure that out. Make sure that you know where your polling place is. If you want to vote early, of course now you can go right down to the uh, election office uh, in, in downtown off of Court Avenue and you can vote. Uh, during the day now, um, there'll be Saturday hours in, in the next couple weeks. Um, and if you want to vote uh, by mail, that's safe and easy and efficient to do as well. Uh, I expect that my ballot will be arriving uh, today and uh, I plan to fill it out and hand deliver it down to the election office. That's, that's my plan. Um, but I think just whichever mode you try, uh, make sure you have a plan. Uh, and then just execute your plan. Make sure your voice is heard. This is a critically important election. Gentlemen, is it just me or does it seem like there's been more phone calls this year than ever before with just people reminding you to vote and not necessarily Republican or Democrat, but we're just getting phone calls on cell phones and home. Make sure you vote. Uh, yeah, but we say that every year. I mean, you're, <laughs> you're just, 
it's 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 this is the magical month of October where you're just inundated. You know, I, I keep unsubscribing. I don't know how many organizations have my cell phone number, but they keep texting me <laughs> and I keep replying stop just because I don't need it on my phone. Um, and and at someday I, I feel like I'll make, meet the magic threshold where I'll have unsubscribed to every list I could possibly be on, but they keep coming. Gentlemen, uh, we have to wrap up. So I just want one statement from each of you. What should we be listening for with the VP debate happening tonight? Where Where's the country going to go on health care and managing this COVID crisis? I think we need to really look at you know, are we a country that's looking forward and, and ready to move on and open up and, 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 and get our economy back going? Or, or are we in fear and going to, uh, you know, kind of keep our economy suppressed in that? That's what I want to know from these two candidates. Okay, All thank right. you gentlemen for your thoughts. That's what the, our experts are gonna be looking for tonight. I'm sure as well as many other things, we'll be checking back in with you as we get ever so much closer to the election date, which isn't far away. Thank you both for Jen joining us this morning. Thanks guys.